Oh yeah, you're listening to the sounds of Elise Testone. The CCU grad is a former contestant on American Idol. And she's toured all over the country and now she joins us live here in the studio in Myrtle Beach. Elise, good morning to you and thanks so much for being here yep. with us today. Thanks for having me. Yeah, and you uh, are a CCU grad, so yeah. this is kind of like coming home to you. Yep. So what's it like to be back on the Grand Strand? Oh, it's great. I actually saw the president last night and a bunch of people from CCU. Mm -hmm. I did like a little private show. But, um, you know, CCU has been awesome to me. So being back here just reminds me of all those good days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And talk a little bit about your time that you spent at CCU. You were telling me that you kind of before you were even on Idol, you were you were uh, making shows and doing yeah. musical stuff at CCU. My uh, freshman year, I joined a class called Pop 101, which is kind of like American Idol. Mm -hmm. And it was actually before American Idol existed. They had this class where you're, it's like a rock and roll class, but you get credit for it. So I learned so much from that class. It was taught by Dan O'Reilly, who's a professor mm -hmm. over there. Um, and then I took what I learned from him in my last year, two years actually, but my last year I threw this big concert that I produced yeah. um, with uh, orchestra and like backup singers. And you know, I just started having all these ideas of how to arrange things. And um, it started from there. And you know, now today I'm just re recording my album and I'm yeah. taking all the information that I learned from, from that and putting it into this. Yeah, it's so interesting that people can actually learn to do that stuff, you know, at, at a school that's right here in our yeah. community. So that's great that you were able to get that education there. Um, and I, you mentioned that you have a new album coming out. So tell us about that. Um, this album's been a long time in the making. Um, I, but I actually started recording in February. Mm -hmm. um, there's 12 songs. They're all original songs. Two of them were co-written with two of my friends, the, the guitarist and a, a guy called Aaron Levy. Mm -hmm. um, every song uh, is, is composed of different layers. So there's like cellos and horns and backup singers. Um, and one song, I'm really happy to announce that Darius Rucker agreed to sing oh, as a very duet. very cool. And when I heard his voice on it and I realized I wrote it and how hard I've worked in this journey, I just, every time I hear it, I just can't stop crying. So yeah. I can't wait to share it with everyone. It'll, it'll most likely be the first single. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. And what all have you done since your time on American Idol? I mean, that's got to American Idol has to be an exciting experience and only opened up so many doors for you. Yeah. Um, once I got off the show, we did the, the three month tour mm -hmm. um, and then I got invited to have my own float on the New York City Columbus Day Parade, okay. um, which was really cool. And then I sang the national anthem for the Major League Soccer Cup. Um, which was also really yeah. cool. It was David Beckham's last game, so okay. I got to Did you meet him? lock eyes with him for oh. like 20 <laughs> seconds. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um, I got to open for B.B. King back in April, wow. who's a legend. I got to meet him. Yeah. Um, and just, just a whole bunch of really cool mm -hmm. opportunities that people have asked me to be a part of. Yeah. So are you appreciative now of your experience on American Idol? Have you, has it helped you grow? Um, I think what it's taught me the most is just to really follow, you stick with your heart and trust mm -hmm. yourself more, you know, than like, I, that's the thing. It's like, trust yourself because we always know deep down our intuition, like what's the right thing to do. And right. I think when so many people are pulling you in different directions, you lose sight of that. So right. on the show, that's what I learned the most. Um, I, I'm really glad I did it. It was a great, you know, step for exposure. Mm -hmm. um, meeting Stevie Nicks was probably like the best oh, part yeah. of the whole thing. Oh yeah, I would imagine that would be very cool. Well, at least we're so glad to have you here yeah. with us. I know that a lot of people are excited to see you back on the Grand Strand. So thanks for yeah. being here with Thank us you. this morning. Mm -hmm.